英語で伝えるトラットジャパン今回のテーマは神社です太古の時代から神々を祀ってきた日本の神社その魅力を英語で説明してみましょう Let's find out how to describe our culture in English 皆さんこんにちは江口博之です Hello, I'm Stuart Varnamakin 今日のテーマは神社です Stuart,、yes. do you often visit shrines? Well, not on a regular basis, but I have lived close to shrines and I've seen many people offering up a quick prayer on their way to work So I think they're very important elements of local neighborhoods Yes, they certainly are Each community invariably has one or more shrines Right それでは3分間のビデオクリップを日本語字幕でお楽しみください Deep amid the trees stands a cluster of buildings of quiet dignity a shrine shrines are dedicated to the deities of Shinto Japan's ancient religion it's said that Japan has around 80,000 shrines People visit shrines on important occasions to make wishes and to offer thanks. Shrines take various forms in different locations and they are home to many different deities. This is Issei Jingu in Mie Prefecture. This ancient shrine is very important and it even appears in Japanese mythology. Enshrined here is the sun deity, who is believed to bring bountiful harvests. This is Itsukushima Jinja in Hiroshima Prefecture. The island on which it's located is known as one of the three most beautiful scenic spots in Japan. This shrine is built out over the sea, and the gods of the sea are the object of worship. This is Izumo Taisha in Shimane Prefecture. Enshrined here is the deity who is said to have played a role in the birth of the nation and is also known for bringing people together. People choose shrines that match their needs and pray to specific deities. Once you pass under this gate, the Torii, you are in a sacred realm. The approach to a shrine is used by the deity, so it's considered proper etiquette for visitors to avoid walking in the middle so as not to get in the way of the deity. As you proceed, you will come to a purification basin. Before presenting yourself to the deity, you're supposed to cleanse your hands and mouth to get rid of impurities. Up ahead is the Hall of Worship. This is where you offer prayers to the deity. Ringing the bell is said to summon the deity and to restore your innocence. The most common way to worship is to bow twice and then clap twice. Then you pray in silence and you bow one more time at the end. A shrine is a place where you can offer up a prayer and purify your body and soul so that you can get on with your daily life feeling refreshed and renewed. Stuart, yes. any comments? Well, the whole idea of purification is very interesting. It features so much with anything connected with Shinto. Of course, there are many similarities in other religions, including Christianity and Islam. That's right.、Mm. This is what I want to say. 
外国人に説明したい事柄を取り上げその表現を身につけていきますまずはこちら日本全国に約8万の神社があると言われていますビデオクリップにぴったりの表現がありましたここでは「It's said that」という表現にスポット当てましょう「It is said that 何々」で「何々と言われています」という意味です一般的にはそう言われているけれども断定を避けたいときによく使う便利な表現です例えば「It is said that」You can find a good partner after visiting this shrine. この神社をお参りすると良い相手が見つかると言われています。It is said that i k u was a unique Zen monk. i k u は風変わりな禅僧だったと言われています。などと使います。それでは、日本全国に約8万の神社があると言われています。と言ってみましょう。さあ、考えてみてください。それではトキンさんお願いします。It is said that Japan has around 80,000 shrines. It is said that Japan has around 80,000 shrines. うまく言えましたか続いてはこちらです。祈る前に二礼二拍手しましょうビデオクリップの中に表現のヒントがありました The most common way to worship is to bow twice and then clap twice The most common way to worship is to bow twice and then clap twice ここでは「クラップ」にスポットを当てましょう「クラップ」は手を叩くという意味です神社での柏でのようにパチパチと音を立てて手を叩くことを説明したい場合に便利な単語ですまた例えば日本の手締めの習慣を説明したい場合この「クラップ」を使って「When the Japanese end the ceremony they often clap their hands in a certain rhythm」などと説明できますねこのほか神社のお参りの説明で知っておくと良い表現としては「bow」「礼をする」「pray」「祈る」「make a wish」「願い事をする」「offer thanks」「感謝を捧げる」などがありますそれではある神社で外国人にお参りの方法を説明するつもりで「祈る前に二礼二拍手しましょう」と言ってみましょう。さあ考えてみてください。それではトキンさんお願いします。Before you pray, bow twice and then clap twice. Before you pray, bow twice and then clap twice. いかがでしたか単語帳のコーナーですビデオクリップの中から日本を紹介するときに覚えておくと便利な言葉を取り上げました皆さんも声に出して読んでみましょう Worship. Worship. Approach. Approach. Visitor. 
visitor. Purification Basin Purification Basin Cleanse Cleanse Bell Bell Words and culture. Kotoba no ura ni aru bunka no chigai o kangai te ikimashou. Konkai no tema wa oto o arawasu kotoba. Gutai teki na oto ga dono yo ni kotoba ni arawale te iru no ka. Eigo to nihongo o kurabe te mimashou. Hakushu o suru wa eigo de wa clap to nari masu ga kore wa pachin. という歯切れの良い音が語源になっている動詞です英語にはこのように音そのものが語源になった動詞が数多く見られます例えばパソコンのマウスのボタンをカチッと鳴らすのはクリックですしベリや鐘をリンと鳴らすのはリング重々しい鐘をゴーンと鳴らす場合はゴーングです英語で使うアルファベットは標音文字からなっています音をそのまま文字や単語に表すには向いていたと言えるでしょう一方日本語はどうでしょうか拍手するは手を打ち合わせるという漢字の意味に由来した言葉ですまた鐘や鈴などを鳴らすという言葉も音が語源になっているわけではありません日本語は表意文字である漢字の文化圏です言葉の多くが音よりも文字の意味から作られているケースが多いと言えますそのため音そのものが動詞になることが英語に比べると少なかったのでしょう面白いのはそれを補うかのように日本語には擬音語が多いということです鳴らすという動詞だけではどのような音かは想像がつかないのでリンリンと鳴らすジャンジャン鳴らすゴーンと鳴らすなど擬音語を組み合わせることで音の様子を区別して表現するようになったわけです表音文字からなるアルファベットと表意文字の漢字その違いが英語と日本語の語彙にも大きく影響を与えたようです。フリートークのコーナーです。二人が好みの神社の話をしていたらアットキンさんからある意外な意見が飛び出しました。二人の会話に耳を傾けてみましょう。Hiro, I know you're fond of visiting shrines and temples. Are there any particular shrines you like? Well, I really like historical ones, such as、uh, Kasuga Taisha in Nara Prefecture、mm. and Usajingu in Oita Prefecture.、Mm. How about you? Well, one that was mentioned in the video clip is、uh, Itsukushima Shrine in Hiroshima Prefecture. The tori constructed out in the bay is very picturesque.、Mm. and It's easy to see why it's become a potent visual symbol of Japan. Another very different shrine I like is、um, Fushimi Nari in Kyoto City. Ah, yes. It has around 10,000 tori、mm. going right up into the hills. Yes.、Uh, which I think makes it very interesting to Japanese and foreign visitors alike. That's right. So, from what you say, I get the impression that you like rather、uh, spectacular shrines. Mm, uh, yes, I suppose to some extent that's true. Shrines differ greatly from churches or cathedrals or Buddhist temples in that there isn't so much to see.、Uh, temples generally have、uh, statues and、uh, pagodas and、uh, bells in the same way that churches have stained glass and sculptures and historical items and、uh, so on. You're right.、Mm. But、uh, I like that kind of tranquility. And simplicity of shrines. Well, yes, they might be simple, but even when there is no festival or event going on, they are not always so tranquil. Oh,、uh, what do you mean? Well, many paths inside major shrines, such as、uh, Meiji Jingu in Tokyo and Issei Jingu in Mie, are covered with gravel rather than being paved. 
Not only is gravel hard to walk on, but it's so noisy. Hmm, well, I've never regarded it as being noisy. Oh. Although I must admit it is rather hard to walk on. Mm -hmm. I think the gravel is basically used to make the paths look good mm -hmm. and avoid trouble when there is heavy rain. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also said that uh, stones purify the area. And in fact, I do feel that I get somehow purified as I proceed along the gravel paths. Uh. As for the uh, crunching sound of footsteps on the stones, well, I'm sure I'm not alone in finding that rather soothing, even sacred. Mm, that's very interesting. A sound that I find annoying, you regard as pleasant. Ah, uh -huh, it's very interesting. Mm. Mm. では最後にビデオクリップを英語字幕でもう一度ご覧ください。Deep amid the trees stands a cluster of buildings of quiet dignity, a shrine. Shrines are dedicated to the deities of Shinto, Japan's ancient religion. It's said that Japan has around 80,000 shrines. People visit shrines on important occasions to make wishes and to offer thanks. Shrines take various forms in different locations, and they are home to many different deities. This is Issei Jingu in Mie Prefecture. This ancient shrine is very important, and it even appears in Japanese mythology. Enshrined here is the sun deity, who is believed to bring bountiful harvests. This is Itsukushima Jinja in Hiroshima Prefecture. The island on which it's located is known as one of the three most beautiful scenic spots in Japan. This shrine is built out over the sea, and the gods of the sea are the object of worship. This is Izumo Taisha in Shimane Prefecture. Enshrined here is the deity who is said to have played a role in the birth of the nation, and is also known for bringing people together. People choose shrines that match their needs and pray to specific deities. Once you pass under this gate, the Torii, you are in a sacred realm. The approach to a shrine is used by the deity, so it's considered proper etiquette for visitors to avoid walking in the middle, so as not to get in the way of the deity. As you proceed, you will come to a purification basin. Before presenting yourself to the deity, you're supposed to cleanse your hands and mouth to get rid of impurities. Up ahead is the hall of worship. This is where you offer prayers to the deity. Ringing the bell is said to summon the deity and to restore your innocence. The most common way to worship is to bow twice and then clap twice. Then you pray in silence and you bow one more time at the end. A shrine is a place where you can offer up a prayer and purify your body and soul, so that you can get on with your daily life feeling refreshed and renewed. トラットジャパンテキストでは、今日放送した内容に加え、さらに詳しい解説などを紹介しています。ビデオクリップの全文も掲載していますので、ぜひ参考にしてください。また関連番組のビギンジャパノロジーは NHK 総合でもご覧いただけます合わせてご利用ください次回のトラットジャパンはコマお楽しみに